Alright, hello guys, welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to be looking at how to install custom games, custom launchers, and stuff like that into Lutris. Uh, and yeah, let's get right into it. So, if you don't know what Lutris is, it's basically a GUI to launch your games. It's a unified GUI, so you can uh, get games from Steam, Ubisoft Connect, the EA uh, store, uh, Epic Games, GOG, and yeah, etc. Uh, you can also get like stuff from uh, RPCS3 if you have games from RPCS3 installed, ZDoom, or GZDoom for that matter. It shows you wh which platforms it has, like flat pack games, stuff like that. Um, so it's gonna show you a interface, it's gonna have an interface like this, but like how do you actually get the games installed? Let's go for Steam as the first one because it's gonna be the, the simplest one. So how do you actually install games for Steam? You actually go here and you link your Steam account to this and it will actually show your whole like library. Um, yeah. Again, the same would go to for um, Ubisoft Connect, EA, Epic Games, and GOG as well. So, for example, itch.io uh, will show you how to like install a game from here. I mean, in like connect your account to um, to Lutris. You go go and press connect. It it just asks you for your username and stuff like that. You can log in with GitHub. I don't know exactly. I, I, I don't know what HIO is all about, so I can't really tell why it's GitHub here, but like, anyway. So, yeah, you just log in and uh, your games should show up, as like my uh, GOG, Epic, and Steam games do here. And yeah, let's go into the preferences again. You can change the directory uh, where you want to actually install your games. So for me, it's uh, BA. So this is my secondary drive. This is the mount folder and games. It's on the root of the drive and games, basically. You can change the place where Lutris keeps its cache. And this, if you do like use emulators, you can just basically uh, define a location where emulator biases are. That's really, really interesting. I have to look into that. Uh, maybe another w video would actually, um, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll make a video about that. I've got global options. These are the options that when you actually create a new game or like, yeah, create a new game shortcut in L Lutris, you're gonna these are basically the defaults, so if you like, for example, want to have pulse audio latency reductions turned on, this is where you change it globally, so yeah, we can just reverse that there. And we've got some launchers as well, most of these I don't have installed, so this is Wine, we've got Zemu, Yuzu, uh, ZDoom, Vita, 3 k basically all you can want and if there's something you don't like you don't, that doesn't show up here you can actually add it up uh, later on just like you're gonna add games which I'm gonna show you uh, right after this segment so yeah that's basically it you can log in with your Lutris profile to keep, keep your library synced that's really good I mean if you want privacy like, if you're really, really into privacy and don't want any data going away from your computer uh, to, like, other sources, you can disable this, of course, and, yeah. Okay, so, we're going to be installing a game the easiest way. So, Steam, that's automatic. The stores, as you can see here, are automatic as well. But what if you want a game that's not on Steam, it's not on these... Um, uh, sources and it's not also it, it's on a drive like it, for example if you have a drive that's migrated from Windows and you have a game in there um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press plus and we're gonna skip these options for a minute here and you can add locally game and you're just gonna name your game whatever you want. For example, I'll just go for the Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed, which I already have here. 
and we can go for need for speed Porsche um, sorry unleashed unleashed and we can get it 2000 now because it released in 2000 which we'll also add here as it's a windows only game we're going to add wine um, sorry sort name we're going to get to this in a moment and we're going to add 2000 here because that's the release here you can add basically anything you want um, and here's playtime which I think like 19 hours uh, and 13 minutes is the way to actually save that though I could be mistaken maybe you should actually um, launch the game for like two seconds and actually tweak it from there um, yeah that said now let's get to the sort name so you did realize like notice that some of my games have like um, their art so album like you call it album art for like music but like the thumbnails yeah basically how do you really how do you get those thumbnails so for that we're going to go to Firefox and we're going to ch uh, search for a need for speed Porsche come on um, unleashed and Lutris so as we can see here it's going to bring me the Lutris website and if your game doesn't show up you can actually make a game which I'm not going to show you in this video but if you want to know how to actually make a Lutris page for a game tell me in the comments down below so you're gonna want to copy this which is the identifier of the game so yeah let's just do that and we're gonna copy and paste it right here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna point to the executable file of that certain game um, and there we go that's porsche.exe and we're gonna put it right there We've got arguments. If your game doesn't launch, but you know what arguments you can put to actually launch it properly, you add them here. You can add the uh, work working di directory, which is usually um, the same directory. In that case, I think you don't need it. But like in certain cases, when it's different, you want to add the working directory as well. And you can add your wine prefix, which in this case we do have one, but I really don't need to add the prefix because I already have a lot of stuff that's required for the game installed in my main prefix and if you have like conflicts with the stuff installed that's when you want to have a different prefix installed so yeah and then we go to runner options which where we have a lot of I also have a video which I'll link somewhere up there to ha how to install like Wine GE, Proton GE on this stuff. So, yeah, go ahead and check that out if you so will. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go for System 10.2 because that's the newest version. You can also go for Proton uh, versions if your prefix you're installing the game into is not a 32-bit uh, prefix because in that case your uh, yeah, Proton's gonna get mad at you for that. So yeah, there we go. If you want a custom wine ex ex executable file, um, you're gonna need to point to it here. Enable DXVK. Mostly you want this on, unless you you actually have like a GPU that that doesn't support Falcon. That's uh, Nvidia 500 series and lower. And for AMD, I think it's like. 6000 uh, series, the HD 6000 series, not the new one, nor the like really old one. Um, yeah, it's 600 series and lower, which is um, which will give you a conflict with Vulcan. So if you have a AMD card like which is 7000 series and higher, you're pay basically kosher on this one. So yeah. That's that's really good. Um, for AMD, it seems like you have a lot more wiggle room in terms of hardware. So yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, if you don't have DXVK or like if the game 
for some reason doesn't like like running through the XVK which, which is a lot less games today. Disable it. VK uh, VK D three D. This is DX uh, v, D, DX twelve to Vulcan. This actually runs worse on like a uh, ten series cards. So if a game actually supports both DirectX eleven and DirectX uh, twelve, I believe if you disable this, the game would detect that you are using DirectX eleven only like some uh, hardware which only supports DirectX 11 and it will actually uh, make the game run faster on that regard so yeah you would want to disable this if you're on a 1080 Ti like the 10 series which doesn't sh support some vec uh, like Vulcan extensions mouse warp override so this is like mouse acceler acceleration it just like basically uh, says no force like fuck yeah uh, like uh, no mouse acceleration so yeah this is also good if you have like first person shooter games and stuff like that you've got the audio driver which is um it's it's a selection of audio drivers you have on your system the LL overrides so you can add like for like custom DLSS versions is one example of what you could add. For laptops this is really important so if you have like a DGPU you just force it from here you can uh, enable the Mango Hood FPS counter that is if you do have Mango Hood installed you can enable game scope which also enables like HDR support which is experimental but like yeah if you want a HDR you're gonna go for that relative ma mouse mode, um, output resolution, game resolution, it has lots, lots of controls so yeah it's really good and you can restrict, restrict the cores, this is the part where you can actually have defaults for it so yeah, uh, reduce pulse audio latency, anti-micro X profile, uh, SDL2 game pad mapping so these would be about like alternative input met methods CLI mode, text-based games, oh really, really nice, I didn't really notice this one, but like, yeah, if you play text-based games, uh, this might be, um, oh, maybe it launches in the ter terminal, yeah, yeah, it does, that's really nice, um, environment variables, um, yeah, this is where you would add, like, environment variables to, for that done, um, you basically got your game installed, right? So here we go. Um, where's my Porsche? Come on. Well, it seems like the uh, artwork didn't show up. No idea why. Well, we'll see later on. Maybe after a restart it will work, but yeah. If it doesn't, you can just copy paste it into there and yeah, it just works that way as well. Alright, so just a quick note here, I uh, after I recorded it, I think I know how to actually fix the whole issue. I created another one of these because I deleted the other one. So yeah, if you want the thumbnail, it actually has to change the identifier. So as you can see here, we've got the, the identifier was different, it said Porsche Unleashed. I don't know why they changed it, but like it used to be um, this, the sort name used to be the identifier, but now I don't know why the name actually goes for um, the identifier. So if we cl click apply, we're gonna see other whole stuff going on there. So yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. So yeah, there we go, we just launch it. It's just gonna load in the wine prefix. And yeah, well, you're basically into, uh, I mean, playing the game at that point. So yeah, let's go back to some other methods to install games into Lutris. And uh, the other one is using the actual um, scripts provided by contributors on this platform. This platform being the Lutris platform. So you can actually review the scripts here. Um, they're like, I don't know which language is this? YAML, maybe? Yeah. I've, I've done like two, I don't really understand how it works, like I know how to do like extremely hard stuff with this, but like 
for a s simple setup. I think the one I did was O Launcher, this one, on Minecraft. So yeah, it was just basically a basic shell script, which I added into this YAML thing. So yeah, it's not too much, but like, if you want to go install it, so yeah. It's, I think it's on the Minecraft play page, I'll just show it to you um, uh, just a few m minutes later. So yeah, so here it's uh, basically the CD-ROM with the setup exe, and yeah, this, this is where you can actually install f stuff from, you can actually do these uh, for the instructions to download it from Abandonware, because this game is not actually sold anymore. But yeah, you just follow these steps, which sometimes um, you'll have. Sometimes you're going to have to actually think about uh, stuff and actually come up with solutions for yourself. But usually it's just a matter of like installing, and it's going to open up Lutris, and you're just going to press install. You're going to mm, tell it the directory it wants to install into and for me it's already installed but like after this it's just going to be a process of like pressing continue and just installing it, it like you do on windows so really easy and yeah that's pretty much it about like lutris for all i'll just show you my minecraft thing craft just gonna search a game yeah by the way you can just like search any game here um and we're going to go to java edition oh yeah here we go this is mine um, and O Launcher is a Minecraft old launcher pre 2.0 clone, which we can see the install script of, which is here. This is what I wrote. And yeah, you just install and it works. That's really nice. And you've got other launchers as well. So you can see you've got like Minecraft Classic, which is a web application, and you've got Linux native stuff. Um, for example, you want to install Red Dead Redemption. Let's just search that. Yeah, the first one. So you can actually install the um, standalone version, which this didn't exist like a few months ago. So you could also install the PlayStation 3 uh, version, which actually installed stuff through rpcs3 and this didn't exist as well so yeah that's also good so yeah you can uh, go and like basically install any game they have in here and yeah for example you can also filter with years so 1996 yeah, and you've got like a thousand games from 1996 and it's just basically mostly like one click install games and yeah that's basically it for this video. If you want any more tips and tricks about Lutris, tell me in the com comments down below. And yeah, I'll be happy to see you in the next video. Bye!